Hey, grade 10. So we are doing Ender's Game and we're up to chapter 10 now. Um, we This is December 16th, 2021. So we, I'm asking you to uh, get working on your major projects or minor projects, whichever one you're choosing to do, uh, so that it's not such a heavy load uh, come the new year, because the due date is January 10th, 2022. So I would recommend that you read the final five chapters instead of waiting for it to, to be done in school. And uh, that way you can get started. But as I stated in class today, that uh, the, the, uh, the bulk of what the novel is about has already taken place. And uh, so th that will be in these summaries for chapter nine and 10 that I'm going to just go over with you. And uh, so if you have any questions about projects, uh, please let me know before the break. Um, during the break, I will be uh, with family. And uh, so if you do sign on to Edsby, um, please be patient. If I do, it may take a little while for me to respond uh, to those inquiries that you may have over the break, because uh, I will be with my family during the Christmas break. So uh let's get to chapter nine and ten and i'm going to share the screen all right so we have uh chapter nine lock and democracies i'm not going to go into this one because we've already done this in class um but uh some of the key parts are uh the the fact that the uh powers that be do not know how peter's image got into the uh, the game that uh, um, the giant string game uh, that leads to fairyland. Um, he doesn't understand how Peter's image gets into a computer game that's already been pre-programmed. Uh, and uh, so that's a mystery that we need to find out what's going on. Um, I know it says Valentine has not forgotten Ender, but she kind of has forgotten about him, um, but on a kind of like a, a subtle le level, I guess. Uh, she she remembers Edna Ender through when she lights those fires uh, in, in the forest there. Uh, she says she lights fire to, to remember Ender on his birthday. Um, but when it, when Graf comes to see Valentine, she's she doesn't know which brother, he, uh, or the only brother that she can think of is Peter right now. So, uh, as far as the family's concerned, Ender is no longer uh, part of the family, I guess, or no longer a uh, integral part of the family. And uh, so the big question is why? Why would Valentine forget about Ender? Why would why, why would his family forget about Ender? That's the other thing that needs to be considered. Uh, we find out that Peter is a manipulator, and Valentine acknowledges that. So does uh, uh, Ender earlier in the novel. Um, but uh, Peter's been monitoring the uh, international fleet and. Based on using historical events, uh, he's been he's been able to to make connections to uh, what has happened in the past, and so what led up to those conflicts or government changes or whatever the case, and then of course the the fallout uh, of those events, and he's using uh, those historical validations to validate his what's currently happening in this world of Ender's game. And uh, so history repeats itself. So he's finding events that have already happened and he's finding that the same thing is happening again. It's just rebranded and uh, different players and things like that, but and a different time period, mind you, but uh, it's still the same thing. So, uh, Peter is able to acknowledge that, identify that, and uh, compared to the military leaders, uh, whether they're aware of the fact 
that this has been done already um, uh, or not, we don't know. Sometimes they, these leaders do know that it's been done and they tell themselves that they could do it better. Uh, so, and maybe for a while it works and then it backfires. Uh, so history has patterns, human be behavior interactions. That's what he's looking at, those, those behaviors uh, and those interactions um, between the other groups in the uh, in this world, especially those who can who are connected to the second Warsaw Pact, and of course others that are not connected to the pact. Um, they're making uh, some interesting uh, correlations to uh, the the Soviet Union era uh, in regard to the Warsaw. Warsaw Pact, and of course the Allies, uh, their their connection, uh, how they wanted to maintain um, peace and and control over uh, the um, democratic uh, aspects of of, of uh, governing and uh, freedoms and and things like that. So. Um, We'll see what happens with, with uh, Peter and Valentine, whether they're able to uh, uh, basically uh, do their own manipulation of sorts. And, and, uh, and they do come up with that when they create their pseudonyms. And we talked about pseudonyms in class. Uh, P Peter gives himself the pseudonym of Locke and Valentine becomes Demosthenes. And pseudonyms are aliases, and we are we should be familiar with pseudonyms or aliases because we use them in our usernames for logging into social media or Facebook or or uh, any online uh, access that we have, and we also use it for our emails. Um, and we create these names to represent who we are and. And, uh, that, and that becomes uh, our contact with the rest of the uh, World Wide Web. Um, they, the Val Valentine and Peter, through these pseudonyms, create uh, a discussion and debate on the current affairs of the world. And uh, so you get some people supporting Locke, you get some people supporting Demonstes, and then of course uh, um, those discussions lead to, um, in a way, a divisive nature uh, where Peter is able to manipulate uh, the adults of this world uh, into thinking one way and Valentine's able to do the same uh, with her way. And then Valentine really re realizes that she's being manipulated by Peter in, in, uh, uh, in a way by using skills that uh, Valentine has and um, uh, using it to uh, play this, this chess game uh, on a world scale for that matter, because it's spreading right across the world through the net. Um, then we get a visit from Graf. Graf visited Valentine to uh, uh, seek out her help into uh, getting Ender back on track. Now they've been uh, Valentine, and for a while the family were writing letters to Ender, and uh, all of them were delivered, but they were never received. And so it was part of that isolation. Uh, uh, ploy that Graf had from day one. Uh, you isolate them, you break them, and then you build them back up again. And so right now, Ender's at a crossroads, not sure whether to continue on with battle school, and, and, and he's even contemplating quitting. And Graf said, no way, we're not let, letting Ender quit because he's the one that's going to lead uh, Earth to victory over the uh, 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 alien race that, that invaded Earth 80 some years ago. Um, she writes a letter and it's a letter that is coursed. It's not a genuine letter, um, it, but it's the only letter that gets through. And the only way 
she can show that she still cares about Ender is to, in a subtle way, misspell canoe. So K N E W. And um, the other term, uh, cycle analyze. And I'm not going to spell that because it's in your text. But uh, as far as the adults are concerned, they, they just would chalk that up to a child misspelling words, right? But you have to keep in mind that Peter, Valentine, and Ender are geniuses, Gen genetically uh, created uh, geniuses. And for them to spell a common word like psychoanalyze or canoe uh, incorrectly, you know, that would kind of raise some alarm bells you would think, but they didn't question it, so they let it go through. But Ender doesn't view that subtle spelling mistake as a sign that Valentine cares. Uh, as far as he's concerned, uh, Valentine's just like Graf, like Peter, everybody else. Uh, they're just there to isolate him, manipulate him. And uh, so he has to go about this all by himself. Now, um, on, on the earth side though, uh, as, as a re result of falling into that trap of uh, being manipulated by Graf to write this letter, she, uh, she writes her own letter uh, under her pseudonym. And she says that the noblest title anybody can have is the title of third. Now, whether Ender will be reading that article or, uh, and hopefully he does, because then he would know for sure that Valentine has not forgotten uh, Ender and that she still loves him. But um, uh, it's, uh, it's a scathing uh, report against the international fleet, the governing body that uh, uh, everybody else is, uh, they're just playing this game and the only true uh, player is the thirds, the enders out there. So that's where we're at for chapter nine. In chapter 10, he gets promoted to um, Dragon Squad. And Dragon Squad was a squad that uh, basically stopped existing um, years ago uh, because of some follow, fallout that took place and now uh, as part of this manipulation and isolation uh, uh, approach that Graf is taking, he's going to give uh, Ender command of this troop, and uh, but give him raw cadets, like cadets that, that uh, have not been taken up or picked up by any other group. Um, and uh, so it, it's uh, up to Ender to train these, these uh, cadets into, and turn them into soldiers. Uh, but then his focus is back on the training part and uh, less on this, on the distractions of Peter and Valentine and his, his desire to go home and things like that. Um, so on the day one of, of practice, Andrew realizes he's, at, he's treating these raw cadets just like uh, Graf did on the flight up to battle school. And uh, so he catches that, but he can't stop and admit that he made that mistake because he's, he's the leader of this group. If he admits that he made a mistake, uh, then we have a bigger issue. Um, but, uh, and the, 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 the soldiers can, can take advantage of Ender or whatever the case. So he has to make it look like it's part of the plan. So he goes, he keeps doing what he's doing, but then he, he realizes that he's, he's doing, he's, what he's doing to these, these, uh, these kids is exactly what he hates about battle school and about everything that's going on like that. So he, he, after it's all done, he assesses himself and he acknowledges the mistake and he ensures that he will not uh, do that ever again. Um, and uh, he turns his attention towards teachers who are the true enemies. Um, and uh, so he's going to train these kids and he's going to do it his own way. And those kids are going to eventually become uh, his tools 
to uh, take on the teachers. Uh, yes, the, the, the third invasion is coming, but uh, the true enemy is the teacher. So uh, he'll, he'll go through the manipulations and the isolations, make the, make the teachers think and the, lead, the government leaders think that, the, that they're, they're controlling Ender when in fact he's doing the controlling, just like uh, Peter and Valentine are doing with their pseudonyms through uh, their discussions and their, their debates. So it's very interesting to see uh, how all three of them uh, are uh, uh, taking on the adults in the world uh, as uh, the as we get closer to this third invasion. So uh, that's where we're at right now for chapter 910. And I hope that clears up a few things and please get to, to work on your projects and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. And uh, uh, for those, uh, just have a great break uh, and be have a restful break, peaceful break, and we'll see you in 2022. Take care, be safe.